so it's uh, cooking with Caroline today. Um, Brian, Brian, in, Brian in Brisbane, one of our subscribers. Brian, I don't know what happened to the um, the comment. Your comment, it sort of appeared, and then I don't know whether I hit sort of like, but it just disappeared. I saw it, and then it went. So I don't, you'd have to make another comment. But um, yeah, we it was sort of um, yeah, um, a bit like that. But uh, anyway, so today, so we're still here um, at Tucker's grave uh, in the heart of. Uh, Somerset near Bath and uh, today on the menu it is uh, a mild chicken curry with boil in the bag rice it's one of our fate it's one of our we're not on electric it's um, chuck it on a gas uh, ring and um, away we go so um, and it's looking pretty good and it's, well, it's smelling delish honestly but it's one of them in the tins you know I'm always beating on about the tins in the floor that um, food well, that isn't you get. Me, it isn't meat cooking it, it's already been Oh yeah, yeah, so it's not actually, um, Carolyn's just warming it up really <laughs> and stirring it. It's like uh, I do at home, no, I do no. cook. She does cook at home, but um, yeah, so, but this here is absolutely comfort food when you're away, when you need something to eat. And then, here, does it? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened to the comment, but, um, but anyway, then we got some um, nice, I normally have these like, um, um, hot chili tortilla ones and Carol those are the cool um, tortillas so it's nice to like just dip in your chili with a bit of rice and um, so I've just been uh, while I'm uh, just waiting for my tea to arrive uh, yeah just been perusing the um, Tucker's grave little uh, camping map and uh, it's all laid on here and uh, what else have they got here? All the information, arrival time, um, cafe opening, the camping, the check-ins, um, food and drink. We were actually looking, so later on there is homemade chili. Well, we're having that anyway, so we're just like um, self-catering today for ourselves. But there is a fresh stone-baked sourdough pizza fish and oh. chips on the menu from six to nine that is and then they do it looks i did have a look at their instagram and uh, the breakfast does look pretty nice saturday and sunday 9 a.m to 11 Oh. Um, so it's all going on. They've got um, fresh coffee, baguettes, and uh, we know we got the like, pasties up there. And um, yeah. So I was just looking out of our door, and I was chatting earlier on to the guy with the nice crafter. He only picked it up last night. Um, he is well chuffed. He's just picked up that vehicle last night, and uh, uh, I think he's come from like a T5 or something like that. So he's um, absolutely delighted. And I said, Don't go in the mud, mate, and get them wheels dirty because they are rogue alloys and they are pretty pristine and uh, this uh, it's all starting to uh, kick off a bit here now and um, things will be hotting up later on because I think they've got a bit of music on so we're gonna head up later on and see what's going on up there and uh, this this kind of like group um, in front of us here uh, we were just talking to the uh, one of the ladies uh, walking her dog earlier on and uh, they are um, all sort of friends from like these um, kind of festivals they've been doing a few festivals uh, throughout the summer and they all like um, meet up like once a month um, so they're all quite quite they're down there singing and um, having yeah a having a right oh good laugh so uh, she said if you want to join us later on I said yeah no worries we'll be down later on and um, <laughs> yeah it. have a bit of a bit of a party on so um, it's all good yeah it's brilliant so everybody's in good spirits and that is the great thing about um, Tucker's Grave it's very very like sociable place to come very very sociable and uh, we love it so uh, we'll see what happens later on and I think the last time we were at Tucker's grave they were actually building this it was just a foundation and look at it now <laughs>
Okay, here we go then. That is it, Tucker's grave. Done and dusted <laughs> for another night. <laughs> Where does, the, where does the bloody weekend go? <laughs> Mental, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Good, good night, though, isn't it? Yeah. Good, good luck with the van, mate. Yeah, no, See, it, love it. Yeah. Take it easy. Have a good, Thank good you. one. All right. Okay, yeah. bye. No problem. <laughs> See you later on. Take care. Nice. See you guys. Brilliant. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, they've come up, yeah. yeah. We're just taking notice of all the advance notices now. <laughs> See one that so Shepton Mallet Carnival is going to be this week, Wednesday the 15th of November. It's hard to believe it is uh, the 12th today. Um, literally, what was that? So we left Shepton Mallet on the weekend of the 10th of September. So lit it's two months to the day when we actually left Shepton Mallet to go on our trip. And that was like two months ago. So probably as a note to myself, I need to probably get on um, there's, there has got to be a website for Somerset Illuminated Carnivals, okay? And I'm going to see if I can uh, find it and put it in this link to this video. So if anybody wants to go to any of these carnivals, and that's what I should have been checking before we um, set off on the glass trip, just to verify. Although, in who, hindsight... Who told you to check? Uh, Caroline told me to... Well, she sort of like... But I got overexcited. I was so keen to get up at Old Oaks, and because uh, we love that place and uh, we got all look to look forward to next weekend again another trip to Glastonbury but um, on the hinds in in hindsight probably yeah what would I have done this weekend a little bit wet and dreary I'm I, I don't know but anyway we've had a fantastic weekend um, Tucker's grave last night was absolutely raucous um, the, the band was up there last night playing um, Man about a dog um, band and uh, had some great music going. Everybody was having a great time up there, and make, we met some fantastic people up there last night as well. It's just like it's just a great uh, variety genre of people up there. It's um, Tuck's Grave, and uh, yeah, and yeah, you know the score. It's um, a great place, sociability incredible. So I'm probably going to end this video here, and what I'm going to do is um, a year ago. We were in Eper in Belgium um, at the Menin Gate, and uh, we visited just before we uh, got into Eper. We visited the Tynecott Cemetery uh, and done a little video. So I'm going to um, post that video on the end of this video as our little uh, remembrance. Um, piece because uh, it was a very very emotional place to go and uh, you all know the score so uh, we'll tag that in this video from here